welcome to SprueCam Tutorials brought to you by SprueCam America. In this tutorial, which will be beginning tutorial number 10, we are going to finish this side of the tutorial block by chamfering the edges. And as you can see, there are one edge right here, which is all the way around the perimeter. That needs to be chamfered. This area right here needs to be chamfered and there's a slight chamfer right on this goofy little island here. So first thing we have to do is we're going to look down here and notice this is broken right here. There is no way for me to connect this if I want to use this as a path. So what we need to do is go to 2D Geometry and we're going to pick in top view and I'm going to turn the grid off by clicking snap to grid off and I'm going to pick a line right here and I'm going to connect that vertex to that one and that vertex to that one. Okay. So that will complete that circuit all the way around, so we won't have to just do this one and then come over and do this one. Now, in order for us to be able to use these two lines, we have to put them in a, in a certain area so that SprueCam recognizes them. So now we'll go back to our Model tab, all right, and we're going to look at Global CS, which has these two um, curves in there. We'll pick, we'll highlight 2D geometry, and we'll see the global CS um, folder right here. We're going to right click on that folder and then click copy. Alright, now we're going to highlight part and we're going to paste that global CS folder right in there and we're going to rename it small links just like that and those are the links alright so now we'll go back to our machining tab and that will be the first chamfer that we do will be around this island and we're going to do this one and this one in one operation. And we're going to use the 2D contouring operation to complete it. So we're going to click Create, Finishing, 2D Contour. And our job assignment is going to be holding down this Control button. I'm going to double click on that line. I'm going to double click on that edge. And then I'm going to find those two other links, the short links, and click Curve. Now we have one solid curve that went around. If you have problems trying to select edges, make sure that you have the Edge Selection tool selected. And you have this icon, which is Geometry Model Visibility. You have that icon active as well. Now. We're going to go over and do the same thing over here. We're going to pick this top edge here and double click. And it found all the rest of the edges. So we will now click curve and add that curve as well. Now we're going to pick our tool for this. So we'll double click 2D contouring, pick tool, and let's see what we have here. We have a 3 ace chamfer mill, which looks pretty good, number 7. And we don't ever want to chamfer just with the tip. We want to chamfer on the body of that angle. So somewhere in here would be good. Maybe even tighter, maybe right around here. So we want a contact point now. We want to select a contact point. So we're going to pick, instead of auto, we're going to pick height. And we'll put, let's see, 0.1. Hmm, that might be a little high. Let's put 0 
That looks to be pretty good. We may have to revisit it. Depends on how tight some of these corners are in here. So now we'll go to feeds and speeds. 5,090 looks great. Safe level. 50 thou. Parameters. We're going to pick our top level as zero. We're going to actually pick our top level as 0 0.005. 5,000 positive. Bottom level of zero. And you're going to say, Eric, why? Why are you picking zero? Because the top of that edge of that line is zero. So we want to contact the model at the zero plane. And we'll go to strategy and pick available for helical machining. Now let's click OK. And we will pick run. And now we will go to our simulation and we're going to pick bright green for this guy and see what it looks like when it's done. So let's go ahead and pick play. The cutter's coming down. Looks very good so far. Now it's going over here. Wow, so what did we discover? We discovered this looks really good here. And this, not so much because we didn't take it far enough down. So we won't be able to do these in one operation. So let's go back to our machining tab. And what, what we're going to do here is 2D Contouring 2, we're going to Double, uh, right click on it and click copy and then we're going to right click on it again and click paste. We'll go to the to 2D Contouring 2 now and we are going to eliminate this path. So we are going to right click on it and click remove selected. Now 2D Contouring 2 will only do this path. In 2D Contouring 3, we're going to eliminate this path. So we're going to right click on it and click Remove Selected. So 2D Contouring 3 will only do this one. And what we need to do for 2D Contouring 3 is double click, find our tool, and change our contact point height from there to point one five right up there in fact point one six even looks better so let's do that and click OK now we can reset and run that 2D country 2 and run 2D country 3 and we will go to our simulation tab and regenerate up to 2D Contouring 2. And let's watch what happens now. So that one's looking good. And now we're coming over to this guy. And this looks much better. We get the full chamfer. That looks beautiful. 
Now we have one more to finish, and that's the one around the outside. So we're going to go to the Machining tab. We're going to right-click and copy 2D Contouring number 3, and then right-click and paste. We're going to select 2D Contouring number 4. We're going to clear out the job assignment, and instead we're going to pick this line, double-click it so that we get the path all the way around the perimeter of the part, and add that curve. Now we need to double click 2D Contouring 4 and change our parameter to top level of negative 0.245 and our bottom level will be negative 0.25. That is because that line is at the line that we want to follow with the contact point is at negative 0.25. So we will click OK now and run. And now we will go to our simulation. And instead of green, we're going to pick something dark blue. And generate and click play. And that is looking pretty good. Let's speed it up a little bit. All the way around. Beautiful. Now the first half of the beginning tutorial block is complete. So this has been beginning tutorial number 10 on chamfering. And when we start on beginning tutorial number 11, we will flip the block over and start working on the backside. Hope you enjoyed it.